Nasıl? Guys, what up? It's Apex. Today I'm bringing you the King Arms TWS 9mm GBB by King Arms. Let's get into it. On um, this gun, it was on um, this gun and another gun and some cash were exchanged for this review. Thank you, Sean from High Cap is 1911s and Trollsoft Productions. Um, to get this out of the way, our company is basically producing something to this effect that instead of using AWWE slash Elite Force G Series mags, um, you can see there, um, we are going to be using high cap and mags. So look forward to that. We are just, this is just something our R&D wanted to get in to um, see where the kinks are, the problems are, etc. And said, yo, see where, like, like we said, like I was just saying, see where the flaws are so we can make ours better, basically. So, let's get into this review. The M-Lock um, handguard seems to be Cerakoted. I am not too sure about that, but it will not, um, like, it is super smooth. You will not get the cheese grater effect. Fake Troy flip-up sights. Um, 14 millimeter negative flash hider. Um, I, this is still under warranty, so I don't want to take off the orange tip but the orange tip is recessed as you can see. Um, butt stock is like one of the one of the hook style ones with a locking lever, so that's the locking lever that just went down. Lock in place when you find a position you like. This gun is basically a nine millimeter M4 GBBR. So with GBBRs, they're basically the closest thing you can get in the airsoft to the real thing, and this is no exception. With the push, of the rear body pin, you can see the internals, loop them, and do your maintenance. Also, while you're there, you can um, change out your buffer pad on um, to a thicker, a thick, a better thickness, etc., to control recoil. All the controls are on the driver's hand side except for the passenger side with your mag release. But with this SBR model, you have safe, semi, and full, and then you have your bolt release, just like on the real deal. Uh, with the proprietary stock mag, it will hold the bolt the bolt back, but on AW Elite Force other mags, it does not have that feature. Chrono with this gun is around 280s to 300 with 0.25s. Chrono results were reading with twos, so on um, FPS equivalent is 310 for indoor CQB with two fives at that computing level. So this is CQB friendly. my testing with HPA tap mags on uh, full auto is kind of sluggish on um, so bursts are recommended you will have to uh, ma manipulate the um, buffer tube pads in here and adjust the PSI on the regulator 
to achieve perfect full auto and firing when you're doing that. Personally, I would just be running the stock mags that come with the gun and that you can buy separately. This does handle HPA very, very well. Um, side note, I'm still working on what pressure skis because of the way it works. Because this whole buffer tube does have like a giant spring in there. So this bolt carrier is going back like on a real AR and pushing back and forth. So you, uh, they do come with three different extra sorbo pads or whatever, buffer pads to put in there. That way you can time it better, but like, you know, watch this. This is 100 PSI. Full auto. It's good for short bursts with HPA. Like I said, I have to figure it over the um, I just finagle with the um, PSI to make sure this functions smoother because it does get sluggish on full auto with the um, HPA mag adapter. But overall, this gun is very nice. I, I'm surprised with the quality. What are my gripes with the platform? Well, this is a first gen platform. Um, I did some research, etc. on because really I am the first one to review this in English. They do make a different bolt that you can buy separately that is golden color on um, they do sell in steel steel inserts on um, the ones in here we'll talk about in a second but um, there are certain parts in here that can be um, upgraded to steel components which I would recommend right out of the get-go doing spending the 200 extra dollars on um, it is Western arms compatible with King arms so the um, fire selector you can switch out on um, you can like I said you can switch out the bolt and some of the steel parts inside um, the one thing the gun likes to do is body pins like to walk out because these are not anti walk pins so just keep that in mind on um, my gun because I had to get it RMA because the whole fire selector walked out on me so um, these are first gen models so mine might have been a lemon but this one isn't so far Overall, what do I rate this gun? It's a solid 7.5 out of 10. Like I said, we got this in for R&D testing, etc. To see where the problems would be, what have you. This is um, one of those platforms where it is Gen 1, you know, just coming to the US. So things will change, things hopefully will change. Um, but for right now it is a 7.5 out of 5, 7 .5 out of 10. It is a solid platform. The gun feels nice. I Like, everyone I've like, held it, you know, fire it, said this is one of the best toys they ever, you know, felt. You know, used, felt. So, and that's like saying something, because I had a lot of guns in my collection, and people like to just shoot these for fun, you know, just have a good old time. Uh, so, yeah. Not a bad little platform for an uh, outdoor CQB in the nice hot weather, you know? And it's not a bad gun to have if you're running a G-Series platform already for a pistol, etc. This is just uh, one of those things you should have in your collection type deal. But anyways, guys, it has been real. I gotta get going. Deuces. Peace out. Stay safe.